Hey, look! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's an asteroid! Extinction. Remember the story about dinos and how they disappeared after an asteroid struck Earth? That happened 66 million years ago during what we called the Cretaceous Extinction. From scientists' speculations, there have been five mass extinctions on Earth. However, scientists say there will be a sixth extinction. And soon, but you said there's five. I did. It's in the near future. Our human race is extinction! Well, then, what should we do? <laughs> That's what the XR movement is all about. In our demands page on the Extinction Rebellion UK website, they define themselves as a political, non-partisan international movement that uses non-violent direct action to persuade governments to act justly on the climate and ecological emergency. The Extinction Rebellion is spread throughout the globe in various countries, but we will focus on the original Extinction Rebellion based in the UK, the land of tea, biscuits, bro. and Harry Potter. The Extinction Rebellion has three main demands. The first one is the government must tell the truth by declaring a climate and ecological emergency, ah, working with other institutions with to communicate the urgency for change. The second one is the government must act now to halt biodiversity loss and reduce greenhouse gas emissions <laughs> to net zero by 2025. And last but not least, the government must create and be led by the decisions of the Citizens' Assembly on climate and ecological Yummy justice. Boy. The first two demands are direct demands over the ecological disaster we are facing right now, that is, the possibility of a sixth, man-made, anthropogenic mass extinction. XR believes that the first demand will allow for the government to address the public, acknowledging the severity of the current threat it's all because of and us? hence would help with the all flow of things. other future anti-climate change operations. However, the second demand to be able to reduce greenhouse gas emissions to zero, especially when our current society is mainly fueled in all aspects by energy from fossil fuels such as coal and natural gases, still remains quite a stretch to many scientists and the scientific community. The third demand from the XR, despite seeming to be unrelated to environmental justice and stuff, is claimed to also play a huge role. The demand for a citizen's assembly is based on the idea that most politicians and people who wield a great influence on the government's actions do not really have much care for the environment. Therefore, citizen assemblies would represent the public and give voice to issues that otherwise may have been on mute. Random citizens would be selected to represent the country, and they will be given the necessary information about the issue, and therefore make informed world choices on a consensus that would be recommended to the government. Thus, with this, the XR believes it could push out the political powers and push aside the normal politicking matters. And now, the question is, how could they do that? By peacefully shouting and raising flags, occupying prominent sites in the city, blocking bridges, pulling themselves to the roads and objects, or constantly tweeting about how close we are to be extinct. I have to say that they did quite a lot of interesting things that view both supporters and those who think that <laughs> these people are crazy. Anyhow, according to the Extinction Rebellion UK website, the theory of change was developed by research from many sources both inside and outside the movement. One main research that was adopted was the 3.5% rule by Erika Chenoweth and Maria J. Stephan, sorry if I read it wrong, who are both American political scientists. The theory states that the campaigns need to mobilize up to 3.5% of the population to succeed the demands. Four keys of the successful movement were mentioned. Nonviolence, decentralized structure, disruptive civil disobedience, disruption of capital cities, which is why most of the main actions were held in London. The movement applies the tool of mass nonviolent civil disobedience to create rapid social change and attract public attention. They disrupt the economic to shake the political system and engage in civil disturbance to raise awareness. The actions are above the ground, which means that they act in full public view. Letters emailing marches don't work 
You need about 400 people to go to prison, about two to 3,000 people to be arrested, said one of the co-founders of XR movement, Roger Hallam. In the first phase of the movement, they aimed to pressure the government, so they developed the arrest tactic. The activists demanded to be arrested. They were prepared for it and taught what to do after getting arrested. Then, they targeted the media to use the power to tell the truth about the climate and ecological crisis. This may sound weird, but flexibility is a key for a successful movement. The decentralized structure provides the movement with diverse resources, from fancy costumes to interesting ideas, and most importantly, skillful collaborators from across the country or even around the world. There is real organization there. They have numerous branches across the country who all coordinate with one another," said Ben Zan in the BBC documentary called My Six Months with Extinction Rebellion. The movement organized like a business company, they build network, utilize technologies and social media, use arts to engage the target audience, and work in different teams that consist of different skilled people towards the same goal. However, the movement would be able to drive forward without the key people who inspire and play important roles in the movement. Extinction Rebellion was started by Roger Hallam and Gali Badbook as a co-founder. Roger is an organic farmer and he has experienced climate change and he reigns this might be an initial trigger. He has compared climate change to the Holocaust that it would end up like that. The Holocaust was a period in history when millions of Jews were murdered. Basically, he claimed that billions of people will die as a result of climate change from the prediction by the IPCC that we will hit 4 to 5 degrees of global warming by the end of the century. <coughs> Recently, he has operated a hunger strike which led King College to divert from fossil fuels. Hallam and his friends played pens on the university walls. It was painted with the words, divert from oil and gas, now and out of time. Hallam and activists were cleared of all charges because they represented themselves and argued to the jury in their defense that their actions were a proportional response to the climate change. And there is actually a law state that there will be an exemption in the Criminal Damage Act that permits damage if it protects other property. The idea of extinction rebellions was born at the trial meeting at Bad Book Home. There were 15 campaigners which start off with a small political campaign. The campaign would not aim only to tap into progressive concerns about social justice and equality, but also traditionally conservative themes such as national security and protecting family. Bad Book came to the conclusion that she was missing vital information about how to bring about meaningful change. In March 2016, Bad Book traveled to Costa Rica in search of enlightenment. She went to a psychedelic pilgrimage and offered up a prayer to be shown the course for social change. Greta Thunberg is an activist internationally known for making people to take action on climate change. Greta joined the rally at the Marble Arch. She told the crowd that humanity is at the cost load. Basically, she wanted the people to make a decision, and now it is the time. She motivated XR to move forward. However, XR's strategic action disturbed the public, such as blocking the railway, even though it is an eco-friendly method of transportation, and delaying some newspaper publication. Stroko UK people way of living and business. Mm. Some were convinced that it's due to the class aspect. The protesters are typically middle class. Not concerning working class with low pay and fixed hour become a victim. Hmm, this seems so serious, so let's move on to the question. Currently, there were zero in XRD men may seem impossible, right? It's possible. But what can I aim to achieve? Researcher at Zero Carbon Britain suggests that to achieve net zero by 2030, Britain would need to get about 130 gigawatt of electricity from wind, meaning around 13,000 extra wind turbines. Wow! Let's see on government side. 
The UK government actually isn't ignore this issue, but moving a plan to commit to net zero by 2050. Furthermore, that their demand is unrelated to environment. This caused the government to view them not as environmentalists but a revolutionary group. This statement claimed by Richard Walton, a former counter terror chief, that XR wished to destroy democracy and free enterprise. Its leader wished to exploit the issue of the environment as the best chance we have of bringing down capitalism, and add that people might die in the process of bringing down government. Meaning their real intention is actually to smash the system, not improve environmental issues, that being used to get attention and cover the truth, which is similar to the war on drug method. Um, that just mean that we still have no idea how to stop the manifestation. No, 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 no. Well, I'll say yes and no. Scientists and ecologists are currently working hard for this matter. The time when all human races will be extinct depends on us. So. Eat well, sleep well, and don't forget to think about the earth a little more every day.